going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'll be showing you how to create the zoom in and zoom out transition in Vegas Pro 16. Now the way I'll be showing you in this video are two ways. One of course is the zoom in, one is the zoom out and they don't require any plugins. All it will require is a video effects known as Radial Blur which is built in with Vegas and also using the Pan Crop tool. It's really simple, let's get to it. So here we are on Vegas Pro 16 and the first way I'm going to be showing you is the zooming in transition. So like I mentioned there are no plugins needed for this and this is what you're going to be needed to have set up. You need one clip on the left, one clip on the right exactly like this. So the first thing is zoom into the center of this part and then you want to select the left clip. Now while on the left clip you want to select the left arrow on your keyboard and this is where you choose how quick or how slow you want this transition to look. Now, if I'm being honest, I recommend anywhere from 5 to 12. I wouldn't recommend any more than 12. So just go back um, as many keyframes as you want to. So I'm going to go back 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm going to press S on my keyboard. Notice this will now split it and that's what we wanted. Then the clip on the right, select the center and then go forward the exact same keyframes you just picked. So the right arrow on your keyboard, I'm gonna go seven forward and press S on my keyboard and that's now split. So the transition is gonna be made with these two clips right here. So starting with the one on the left, you wanna select the pan crop tool and from here, you're gonna leave everything the same. However, you're then gonna come across on the timeline right to the very last keyframe. You wanna have size about center highlighted along with lock aspect ratio then just simply zoom in and that's it you can now x out of this you're going to head over to the next clip and select the pan and crop this time on the first keyframe again we leave it the same however we come across to the end and we add a slight zoom so this means you will be losing some of the footage this is just to finish off the zoom in transition so you will need to do this it is essential now another thing to important to note on the very last keyframe you just created on this right clip, you need to right click that keyframe and select copy. You can X out of this and then the clip on the right, which you've already split here, open the pan crop, go to that first keyframe on position, right click and select paste. Now I can play it through for you and this is now completed. So I'll just turn down the preview quality. It's going to zoom in. like that. So as you can see, it creates the zoom in transition. Super simple. And you can see it looks really nice, really smooth. And I'll be showing you one last trick right now. So just to make it look a little bit more better, I recommend heading over to video effects. And from here, scroll down and look for radial blur. So as you can see, it's right here. This is built in with Vegas. And then I do recommend adding on the strong proportional. So drag and drop this onto your first clip. Again, we will be using keyframes again. So where strength is, you want to toggle the animation by selecting the clock. Then this first keyframe, you can drag right across to the end. And for now, you can turn the strength to zero. So you can see that's just created the keyframe at the start and the end. We can X out of it and we then need to drag on that same strong proportional onto the other clip here. And this time it's going to start off very strong and then we're going to animate it the very last keyframe, we're going to turn it off. So this is it now completed. And I'll play it through in frames just so you can see what that blur actually does. So you can see as it zooms in, it blurs. And as it zooms in, it blurs and finishes off like that. So that's it. That's how you create the zoom in version. So moving over to the side, I have two different other clips here to create the zoom out transition. It's going to start off the exact same way. So first of all, two clips side by side. Then go back as many keyframes as you want to. Again, I'm going to do seven. Press S on my keyboard. The right clip, you want to go seven forward again if you pick seven. S on my keyboard. And we're simply going to start off with the left clip. Now, before we actually get on to working with this, we need to work on this first clip here. And what you want to do is head over to the pan crop and you want to have a slight zoom in. This is how we're going to create the zoom out transition. So choose how much you want to zoom in or how much footage you can afford to lose. 
I do recommend go as much as you can, just then it will create more of a better effect. And then on position, right click that keyframe and select copy. You can X out of this, then come across to the uh, clip here that we have. Um, open up the pan crop on the first keyframe, just right click and paste that in. And then go across to the very last keyframe, you can just right click and select restore. And you can X out of that. And now we're going to head over to the clip here and we're going to come to the pan crop. This time on the first keyframe, we're going to zoom all the way in. Just like this. And then you're going to come across to the end, right click and restore. So I'll show you what this looks like. So as you can see, zoom out transition like that. And of course, the final thing to make it look a bit better is adding on the radial blur. So I'm going to drag and drop on strong proportional again. I'm going to toggle the animation. This keyframe, we're going to drag across to the end and the strength, we're going to turn to zero on the first keyframe. We're then going to X out of it and do the opposite to the next clip. We're going to keep the strength up on the first keyframe. Then we're going to come across to the end and turn it all the way down. I can X out of it. And this is what we've just done. And there you go. That's how you can create the zoom in transition and also the zoom out transition. Thank you.